C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. My name is Zotos88 and today we are continuing our adventure. In last episode we uh, left the moon that we were on where we discovered the strange artifact. And as soon as we uh, left the, the atmosphere of the moon uh, we were attacked by some pirates, we destroyed their ships and now it seems uh, they have beef with us and they will keep uh, attacking us until we deal with their captain. So now we're hunting a captain, apparently. Or at least that's what we are supposed to do. So, yeah, let's, let's just jump right into it and see what happens. Okay, so we actually just destroyed this one, but I'm supposed to be able to uh, go nearby and like gather all of the materials that it has, but I'm not sure how I should do that or how I'm supposed to do that. Am I supposed to go up here, down here? How am I supposed to be able to loot that? Because it said I would need to come close to the ship. And then what? Oh, just like that. Okay. Oh, I thought we were able to, like, go inside the ship and gather all of those materials <laughs> yeah nothing here oh well this is a little bit precarious I'm like accelerating like very quickly <laughs> Nothing here. Crimson Fleet Ghost. Oh, but that's far. So, wait. What am I supposed to do and then? Let's see our missions. We're supposed to travel... Uh, toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Uh, select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. And you can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest's objective. Okay. Huh. So I'm supposed to go there. Crimson Fleet Ghost. So this is like the optimal speed that I should be traveling at but I think it's too slow <laughs> uh, maybe I can remove some of the ballistics energy and shoot it up to the engine yeah that's nice okay yeah we're getting close we're getting close oh and that's it Yeah, I guess that's it. There's something else here, I think. Oh no, it's just part of the ship. Alright, so we got what we wanted. 
there's another one there. All right. Let's see what else can we find here. Slow and steady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, a lot of credits here. Some ship parts. Nice. Okay, so that's all the scavenging we had to do, I think. So let's uh, point it here and I guess let's just go. So maybe I will take another one from the lasers and put it on the engine. The shields should be okay that way. And yeah, let's 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 just go. So I'm guessing this is like the slow travel version of this. <laughs> so maybe I will just cut once we are close to the planet. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, so we are we here. Arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. All right. So I actually did figure out we can quick travel. <laughs> I didn't need to go like step by step, kilometer by kilometer. That's my bad. <laughs> press. Okay. Press to. Uh huh. From here I can open the star map and then what? The planet view on the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover uh, key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the create research lab map, I map icon is in view and then select the map icon to land there. Okay. So rotate the planet, there's the research lab, and then set landing target, and land. Okay, that's easier than I expected. <laughs> the fitness skill increases your available oxygen, nice. I guess I'll exit ship. Oh no, I have to. I, I, I actually had to get up, sorry. Uh, board. Wait. What am I supposed to do? Wait, wasn't I supposed to go down? Oh, <laughs> I guess it was just a, a thing of the... Wait, I'm, I'm very confused right now. What the hell? Maybe I just have to go down. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll take this. And an EMP, okay, pharmaceutical kit. And then what? Okay, I do have... Why is the objective still the... the ship? Ooh, I have enemy markers here. That's not good. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with the mission. Deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. I'm not sure what's happening here. The objective was pointing at the ship, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Is he again? Oh man. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I should have used this uh, point of view once we went when we were fighting the ships last episode. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, this is going to take forever. Hmm. So I guess I will just have to go to the research lab. And ignore like <laughs> ignore the fact that uh, the objective is pointing again to the ship and all that stuff, maybe. Because yeah, that was that was weird. The Crimson Fleet is a loose confederation of independent pirate groups that frequently cause trouble throughout the settled systems. Okay. Oh, I needed to land. Elsewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice that. So I guess it's that one. Uh, maybe I'll just change um, my weapon. Interesting, the fact that you can actually start scanning all this stuff. Hey, let's go. Cool. 
Oh, nice. Sorry. Okay, so this is a very um, efficient way to actually gather materials, I think. Maybe this is where I start going sneaky. Let's see if we can find some other materials. Yes, there are. The scanner is actually a quite nice uh, tool here. Maybe I will gather all the materials once we come back. The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Okay. Deal with the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, once we finish with them and we can go back to our ship, I will go gathering resources and all that stuff. Oh yeah, let me change very quickly something about my controls because uh, oh, I can't change it here. It's just I don't like the fact that. Uh, The fact that I have to uh, maintain to to have the weapon like look out. Right stick. Okay, maybe maybe that will help. Yeah.
All right, all right. First uh, dungeon crawl of the game. Huh, there's also text here. Omega the last days. The following is the opening of Camille's Flammarion's 1894 work Omega the last days of the world in which a comet is set to collide with the earth in the 25th century and people must come to terms with the end of the world and what it actually means. Okay, I'm not gonna read all that here but there you have like the text so you can pause it and read it in case you are interested. Again, I'm taking everything I can, just as I find any use of all this junk and all this stuff. Oh, biohazard stuff. Tissues. Oh, that was valuable. 208. Ramen mini bite. The use of the lamp is kind of weird. Sometimes you feel like you can use it, sometimes not. Why did the chicken cross the road, huh? What's a chicken? <laughs> okay. Knock knock, who's there? Planet, planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? Ah, that was cute. Ecliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I will always and I always get the job done. Woman says. Can we talk about this, son? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, that was dark. How do you keep an idiot in suspense? <laughs> How do you get a free star collective hick uh, out, of a of a, out of a tree wave? Uh, here's where uh, I get lost in translation because I don't get it. But maybe it's because I don't know what hick is. Louis Looper, Bad People, Bad Jokes, Volume 2 is the follow-up to its original work and just like its predecessor, it has become a cult hit. Okay, nice. Oh, a board game. Another board game. Pencil case, desktop succulent. Reminder, run. Oof. Oof. That's interesting to find. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Huh. I'll have to get my factions, like, well learned because it's gonna get confusing at some point. By now I just know the Crimson Fleet is bad guys, it's just pirates. Whoa, what is this? Red Rover, come over. An expert, an excerpt uh, from Luvov Song's novel. Okay, then again, I'm not gonna read it in case you want to read. Pause it here. And that's it. Just taking everything. I don't know if that's of any use. I'm still taking it. A toxin. Impact driver, which is, I don't know, what's that for either, but I think that's it. Whoa, 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 what's that thing? I mean, it's not doing anything to me. Maybe it's not aggressive? You. That. Biohazard area, molecule extractor. Uh, I'm so nervous. Sculpture. 
template holder. I mean, I'm guessing soon rather than later, I will have to start. Uh, I was very young, only seven years old, when I realized humans are animals. Smart animals, sure, but still animals. Uh, you give us food, we'll eat it. We want it to taste good, and we want it to stop our hunger. Those two things, that's what's most important. After that, sure, some people want their food to be really healthy, as the experts say. And some want it to be pretty, but most people, they just want to cram something into their face. And that's when the concept of chunks was born. So begins the 120 page autobiography of Fred Blumbert, founder of the Chunks Food franchise. Okay. Whoa. And like you actually can take all of this? No, yeah. I'm gonna fail myself out of junk if I don't stop right now. This I'll take. Why haven't I found anyone? Like, literally anyone. And just as I say that, wow. Wow the dead man here. This is tense. So they use toxins to kill the scientists here. Desktop organizer, machinery. No one steal? None of the pirates? Oh, I hear him. I can hear them. Wait. Holy shit. Here we go. The terror morph is lost. Morpheus lose. Okay, so all of this I will have to explore afterwards. Just to see where the other pirates are. Oh, there's one. Sissy. What's that noise? Oh, it's a glitch. Uh, get this. Got stuff to do. Wait, 
Yep, they're up there. Hey, it just went up a level. Oh, so this these barriers are actually useful against bullets. Okay, I need ammo. Uh, Let's go with ye old little pistol. In combat, there is often yells. Watch out! I'm not sure why. going to explode? Oh, that was gruesome. Oops. Again, we're on ammo. I mean, we could just take this one. Yeah, it's useful as well. <laughs> uh, fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Uh, select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. I didn't get it, but sure. Okay, so we need four. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm starting to get it. There we go. Nice. the terror morph. <laughs> wow, okay. Roof access. Okay, so I guess I will leave it uh, there for today's episode. I mean, we are halfway the mission, but since we are going to the roof, uh, I want to explore actually all of these labs and I will do so off camera 
Uh, just because it's, uh, I, I'm quite uh, thorough with with my exploration of of dungeons and all that stuff. So I will check out all of the information. I will loot whatever I can, and then I will uh, rejoin you guys for the next episode once I reach again the 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 roof the rooftop door, and we can continue our mission. So. Yeah, I guess that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you are enjoying, uh, as I'm actually quite enjoying this game. And if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.